Almighty says to the cursed devil, go and befool as many of them as you can with your voice. Go and befool as many of them as you can with your voice. And assault them with your cavalry and your infantry and share with them their wealth and their children and give them fake promises. Allah Almighty comments and says, but the shaitan does not promise people anything but deceit. And what is the voice of shaitan that he uses to befool people? He says, huwa al-ghina'u wal mazamir. It is singing and musical instruments. This is the voice of shaitan. Therefore, brothers and sisters, I repeat and I reiterate that the cornerstone of why these things have been prohibited, why music, why alcohol, why fornication, because it is essentially preserving your Tawheed. The one who becomes obsessed with these things eventually starts fighting his heart now, is occupied with other than Allah. See, we mustn't kid ourselves. And we mustn't think that we're made out of some sort of wood or concrete or stone. The qalb, the heart that Allah has placed within you is called the qalb because it is that which change, turns over. It, is, it never stays still. It is moving from one state to another and music manipulates you just as much as fornication, idolatry, alcohol, or any other obsession in life does so. Why would a Muslim put himself in such a situation? Now see the bigger picture. What does music do? The stark opposite of this. It limits your horizons. And now you cannot see anything but the girl. And she can see nothing but the praise that she wants from boys. Wow, Allahu Akbar. The entire purpose of life and why we are here and death and the grave and the angel of death, all of this is now missed. And they become intoxicated in that person, in that one individual, you miss the bigger picture of life. This is what music does. Ibn Qayyim says that it is known in the madhab of Abu Hanifa, Imam al-Shafi'i, that all types of instruments are forbidden, particularly in the Hanafi fiqh, whereby they said that even al-Qadib, al-Darb al qadib hitting, hitting stems, stalks together, this is impermissible, including the drum. What, what do you have left? So my brothers and sisters, get rid of musics and musical instrument, because these two are the voice of shaitan. Devil likes it. And then it hypnotizes you. It takes away your peace. In short time, you may feel that music is making you high. Music is comforting you or music is giving you some sort of goodness or happiness in life. But in long term, music may destroy your life. Because this is the tool of shaitan. This is the voice of shaitan. Music will turn you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala music will take you to the wrong path so always be careful you can see in the musical conferences in the musical these live sessions people do all sorts of things to please shaitan so be very careful while listening to music music and musical instruments are haram and many scholars said that it's not permissible in Islam. So be very careful. Even though you may falter as a human being, we are weak. We might falter once or twice, but always turn back towards Allah. Don't keep listening to music day and night 